think I'm gonna do a neon kind of like crazy makeup. White primer. That's gonna help all of my colors show brighter and more vibrant. This is the Sleek palette. It's the acid palette. And, hmm, what color should I use? I think I really want to use that neon. So these eyeshadows are very powdery. They're pigmented, but they're very powdery. So you have to like build them up a lot, a lot. I take a small detail brush. Actually, first I'm going to use a brown just to kind of start off with building the color. So I'm carving that shape from the end and I'm bringing it up towards like the beginning of my brow on the opposite end. That black in the same palette and I'm gonna start darkening it up. like light peach oh that was a bad swatch -roni. it's like a light peach it doesn't add it's not adding color what it's doing is just buffing out the black a little bit I'm going back to the eyes in a little bit because I'm kind of getting bored and I get unmotivated this is Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. I'm starting off with a very light layer. And I think I was telling somebody on my last video, maybe, who was using this brush, how to make it look not streaky. Uh, there's a few things. You can buff it in. Spend more time buffing in your foundation. Use less foundation, because a lot of times... Um, when it's streaking, that means there's a lot of product and it's not really like getting into your skin. So try using less product. And then another thing is to use a slick base or a primer. This is Charcoal Brown by MAC. I'm using Shadester. By MAC and it's a pro sculpting powder. And I'm using my fiber brush, the one I told you guys on Instagram about. Hopefully you get it because it was on sale for super cheap. And it's that same shit as the Sigma and MAC one. I'm using L'Oreal Concealer in W45, 4 to 5. And then I'll let it on my nose because that thing will not go away. I don't know what the hell is going on there. I'm using the corner color of that acid palette. I'm going to drag it and blow it out really 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 good underneath the bottom part of my eyes oh yeah looks so much better I'm just gonna bring a little bit up on the corner to kind of blend it all together And just to bring it much darker underneath, see my smudger brush and the black that we use from the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm just going to do that on the outer corners of the bottom lash line. Nylon by MAC. 
and it's a really really shimmery color I'm just gonna bring that on the brows just to add a little bit of um, more texture because just because the colors are different you still want to change up the textures if possible I'm going to bring that in the inner corner as well I'm just going to layer more mascara on top and I'm using the Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline Did I already say Maybelline? Sometimes my eyelashes get stuck in here I'm using this mineralized skin finish. It's called Two Virtues. It's from a... I have no idea what kind of collection this was. I got it at a CCO like forever ago. But it's really shimmery. I wanted to try this Inglot lipstick. And it's a, it's a free sample that I got at the makeup show. And I made a purchase there. Ooh, you know what? I just, I kind of have something like this already. Oh my god, these smell so good. I have something very similar to this, so I'm going to mix them. This is number 99, and I'm going to use this color. It's pink, and it's number 98. I'm going to mix them to make them look a little bit more like magenta. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. They're kind of spiky. Mary Lou Luminizer. This is a teeny little sample that I got from a birch box, I think it was. 